Find the volume of the region under the surface z equals three x to the fourth, and above the triangle in the xy plane with corners of these three ordered triples. If a function f of x comma y is greater than or equal to zero and integrable over the plane region r, then the volume is given by this double integral where differential a is equal to dy dx or dx dy using rectangular coordinates. So going back up to the given three points, notice how the z coordinates are zero. So if we plot these three points on the xy plane, we get the three vertices of this triangle and therefore this yellow region is the region of integration. Before we set up a double integral to determine the volume, let's look at this in three dimensions. The function f of x comma y is this blue surface and this triangular region, which we can see if we look down on the xy plane, is the region of integration, which means when we evaluate the double integral, we'll be determining the volume under the surface and above the xy plane over the triangular region in the xy plane, which means we'll be determining the volume that we see here, or from this angle, this volume here that is below the surface and above the triangular region in the xy plane. So for practice, let's set up two double integrals, one using dy dx for differential a, and another using dx dy for differential a. Then we'll select the double integral that's easier to evaluate. The integrand function is z equals three x to the fourth. Let's first use dy dx as the order of integration. And then we'll also set this up using dx dy. If we go back over to the region of integration, we are going to need the equation of the line that contains this side of the right triangle using sloped intercept form. Notice how the line containing this side of the triangle would have a vertical intercept of four, so B is four. And then from this point, if we go down two units and right one unit, we're back on the line containing this side of the triangle, which means the slope is negative two. Of course, we could also go down four and right two, which still results in a slope of negative two. So the equation of the line containing this side of the right triangle is y equals negative two x plus four. Looking at the first double integral, we first integrate with respect to y, so for this triangular region, we begin integrating with respect to y at y equals zero, and then we go up to the line where y is equal to negative two x plus four, which means the limits of integration for a y are from zero to negative two x plus four. And then for the limits of integration for x, we integrate from zero to two. And now set this up again using the order of integration dx dy. If we integrate with respect to x first, we start at x equals zero, and then we go out to the line containing this side of the right triangle, which means the lower limit of integration is zero. The upper limit of integration is determined by this line, but it must be expressed in terms of y, not x, which means we'll need to solve y equals negative two x plus four for x for the upper limit of integration with respect to x. So if we subtract four on both sides of the equation, we have y minus four equals negative two x, and then divide both sides by negative two. We get x equals, this would be negative one half y plus two. The upper limit of integration with respect to x is negative one half y plus two. And then for the limits of integration for a y, we integrate from zero to four. Now we need to decide which of these is going to be easier to evaluate. Looking at this integral here, if we integrate first with respect to x, we would have an antiderivative of three times x to the fifth divided by five. And then because the upper limit of integration is this binomial, we would have to raise this binomial to the fifth power, which would be fairly complicated. And therefore, let's use the first double integral where we integrate with respect to y first. Integrating with respect to y first, we treat x as a constant, and therefore the antiderivative of three x to the fourth with respect to y would be three x to the fourth times y. 
the limits of integration are from 0 to negative 2x plus 4. Now remember, when we find big F of b minus big F of a, we are substituting the limits of integration for a y, not x. This is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 of, we would have 3x to the fourth times negative 2x plus 4 minus 3x to the fourth times 0. Let's continue on the next slide. Here we distribute, and this product is equal to 0, which means we have the integral from 0 to 2 of negative 6x to the fifth plus 12x to the fourth. And now we integrate with respect to x. The antiderivative is negative 6 times x to the sixth divided by 6 plus 12 times x to the fifth divided by 5. And we're integrating from 0 to 2. So let's simplify this and write this as negative 6 divided by 6 is negative 1. So we have negative x to the sixth. And let's write this as plus 12 fifths x to the fifth. And now we need to find big F of b minus big F of a, which is equal to the opposite of 2 raised to the sixth plus 12 fifths times 2 to the fifth. And then when x is 0, notice both terms are 0. The opposite of 2 raised to the sixth is equal to negative 64 plus 12 fifths times 32, which is equal to negative 64 plus 384 fifths, which is equal to 64 fifths, or 12.8. And this is volume, and therefore the units would be cubic units. If we go back to our graph one last time, we now know the volume under this blue surface above the triangular region in the xy plane, this volume in here is exactly 12.8 cubic units. I hope you found this helpful.